Pleural effusion, also referred as water on the lungs, is the build-up of excess fluid between the layers of the membrane called pleura that lines the lungs and the inside of the chest cavity. Normally, a small amount of fluid is present in the pleura that acts to lubricate and facilitate breathing. Depending on the cause, pleural effusion may be either protein-rich and is called exudative or protein-poor called transudative. In exudative pleural effusion, the physiopathological mechanism is increased capillary permeability due to inflammation and some causes may be bacterial or viral infections, tuberculosis, lung cancer, pulmonary infarction, pancreatitis, systemic lupus erythematosus. In transudative pleural effusion, the physiopathological mechanism is either increased capillary hydrostatic pressure when the cause is congestive heart failure or decreased capillary oncotic pressure caused by low serum proteins as a consequence of liver disease, nephrotic syndrome or renal failure. Characteristics of exudative pleural effusion include high protein concentration, greater than 3 grams per cent, a positive Rivalta test, which is a test used to estimate the concentration of protein in body fluids. A drop of the effusion is added over a mixture of distilled water and acetic acid. If the drop precipitates, the test is positive, indicating an exudate, and if the drop dissipates, the test is negative, indicating a transudate. Density greater than 1.018, high total cell counts, the pleural fluid protein to serum protein ratio greater than 0.5, the ratio of pleural fluid lactate dehydrogenase to serum lactate dehydrogenase greater than 0.6, pleural fluid lactate dehydrogenase greater than two-thirds of the upper limit of normal for serum lactate dehydrogenase. Characteristics of transudative pleural effusion include low protein concentration, less than 3 grams per cent, a negative Rivalta test, density less than 1.015, low total cell counts.